Hello, welcome to the next edition of the Thursday's Carnage. Today we're going to be trying out um, Fight Rigging. So the brand new card is Thunderous Debut. Uh, we're also playing a couple copies of Besiege the Mirror. So that way we can sacrifice a briefcase, something like that, get our Fight Rigging if we need it. So essentially that ups our copies of Fight Rigging. So hopefully that makes the deck a little bit more stable. And uh, Thunder Troop Debut is pretty solid to hit off of Fight Rigging because you dig 20. Hopefully find either Emrakul, Rex, Titan of Industry. Something that helps close the game out. That is what we're trying out today for Thursday's Carnage. Uh, it is, we have Rex and we have Rotting Regisar. So there is six dinosaurs in this list. Okay, so if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can be alerted for future videos. Let's get into the deck list. So as you can see, we have two Besieges, four briefcases, four riggings. So if we get Besiege the Mirror, we can sacrifice Fight Rigging, go digging for potentially another Fight Rigging to reset. Um, so there is that possibility as, as a whole. Um, we also can, of course, you know, Fight Rigging, hopefully get Thunder's Debut. Thunder's Debut is more likely to sacrifice Fight Rigging or Briefcase to be able to get the bargain mechanic going. So we have a little bit of a uh, bargain going on. And we also have a decent amount of early game ramp. Registrar, Heavy, Pelucranos, these are our enablers. Then we have our top end, there's six top end pieces. Sideboard wise, we have three Thought Seizes for the control matchup. In combo, we have two Abrupt Decays for aggro matchups, two Damping Spheres for Lotus Field, one Terra Sunder for Artifact and Enchantment Removal, two ne uh, Necromentias for combo, three Extinction Vents also for aggro, and then we have two Void Winnowers for Mono Green. We could take out something like T Rex. Titan of Industry, bring in Void Winnower. Hopefully we can close that match out. So that is what we're built to beat. Let's see if this deck can compete. Pioneer, get into it. Overgrown Tomb, untapped. Elf, go. Pathway on red. Probably going to be a burn spell inbound. Sure, seen that one coming. Put that on black just in case we draw a Beseech. Play Briefcase. Go. Pathway on blue. Young Pyromancer. Passes. Play the Glade. Play Fight Rigging. I guess we put a Fight Rigging under it. Go to combat. Pump the token. And attack. Because there's no way he's blocking this. Coast. Hits me for two. Passes. Glade. Play the second Briefcase. Go to combat, pump the citizen, and attack. Pathway on red. See Healy. Passes. Play Reggie. Since we have Reggie down, put this into play tapped. So we don't discard it. Go to combat, put the counter on the Reggie. Cast fight rigging. <laughs> I guess put another fight rigging under it. Swing both at Sahili? No, we'll do one face, one Sahili. Since we can't kill it this turn, anyways, island passes. All right, rotting registrar makes me discard. Emrakul, go to combat, put a counter both on the token, cast fight rigging. I guess T Rex, face Sahili, Sahili, stoke the flames, my registrar. Okay, you only have a blue mana left, so you can't. Burn it again. You can double block it, but... Okay, he double blocks. That's fine. So he loses Sahili and his main threads. Pass the turn. Another Sahili. Passes. Play the Blooming Marsh. Go to combat. Spread the wealth a little bit. Go to combat. Sahili face. Okay, protects the Sahili. Takes four. Invasion of Zengovia. Makes a 1-1. One, one. Makes a couple more 1-1s. One, Passes. Play Pluker Nose. Make disappear. Insert any world when I exchange both briefcases. I don't really need this card. So I think I just let it go. Go to combat. Two counters. Here. I totally messed up. I put them in the wrong order. Should have been the last one to resolve. Ah, oh, whatever. Face. Sahili. Young Pyromancer. Another young Pyromancer. Tax the invasion. Beseech the mirror. Go to combat. Put all the counters on the other dude. We will cast T-Rex. Go to combat. He scoops it up. 
against this matchup, we bring in EE. Seems like that's it. We can go down. It's primarily even. Odd. So our evens are carry edits and Palooker knows. Maybe down, down, and another carry edit. I don't like that. Steam vents. Tapped. Passes. Beseju. Lana World. Go. Canal. Kills my elf. That's rude. Passes. Turn Timber. Briefcase. Go. Ottawara. Iconoclast. Passes. Lana World. Go. Pyromancer. Passes. Pathwound Black. Fire Rigging. Scrub Digging. I guess Extinction Event. Pass the turn. Put a counter on the citizen. All of the storm giants. Song of Toazan. Okay, makes a bunch of one ones. Gives them all haste. We will block with the citizen token. There's no reason not to because these all have these are all even. I'm pretty sure he'll scoop after this. Attacks out with everything with except the iconoclast. Alright, we'll block. Play the tomb tapped. Shakedown heavy. Go to combat. Put the counter on the heavy. Cast extinction event. Even. Go to combat. Hit you. Invasion. Passes. That's awkward. But I think I have to just play it. I guess I'm one mana off. Four, five, six. Put the counter on the elf, I guess. And attack. Alright. Once it goes through. Takes it. Down to ten. Pass the turn. Goops it up. One and oh. Let's get to the next. Overgrown tomb. Tapped. Go. Coast. Drum. Passes. Pathway on black. Carry added. Go. Foundry. Ingenious Smith. Gets a Frixian Revoker. Plays a Skrelv and passes. Fight rigging. Take Thunder's re debut. Put a counter and pass. Snow cover planes. Frixian Revoker. We get a name. Sylvan Carry added. That is nothing. Hits me for three. Sure. Take it. Oh, it doesn't say man abilities. Okay, I guess it does do something. Now the question here is, do I want to play what? I think I just play Llanowar Elf and pass. Put a counter on the carry added. It is a 2-5, so we can block this. Portable hole. Sure. Eats that. Llanowar Elf. Come on. Give me a give me a land off the top. Play Steel Sereth. I guess gives it flying. Hits me for four. Come on, Dak. Another Elf. Whatever, I'll play Courier's Briefcase, I guess. Put another counter on the carry added. Pass. Car makes a, co a construct. Grows the smith. Okay, hits me for five. All right, deck. That's that's ironic. Rotting Regisar. Put the counter on the carry added. Cast with bargain. Sack the citizen token. Take Titan ind Industry and a Rex. So we want to do short art artifact and enchantment in game five. Pretty sure that's right. We will destroy, I think, Skrelv. Could also name Revoker, which will, yeah. Skrelv, gain five. Smash the Karn. Another Steel Sereth. Let's see if he realizes the sneaky reach. Tap Coast. Okay. Gives it lifelink and passes. So now we have to discard a card. Thunderous debut is uncastable. Play Llanowar Elf. Put a counter on the Titan, since it has reach. Smack with a Rex. Takes it. Pass. Sir Ginger. A Skrell. That's not going to do it. I guess make that, that makes this an 8-8. Eight, eight. That is interesting enough. He can make it a 9-9. Nine, nine. So that is something to be noted, right? He turns on the Foundry and can't block. We will throw away Shakedown Heavy. Play Fight Rigging number 2. That's not going to do anything. I guess land. But I guess that makes it where I can get this guy big enough. Play the Marsh. Hit you again. I guess we die we die in the air, right? Yeah. Okay. So he just gives this flying, this flying, and just goes over the top. And I can really do about this. We got stuck on lands way too way too long. Let him have a too good of a board state. It's pointless to give it two key modes. Okay, against this deck. Terra Sunder could work. So even even. Constructs are even. I think EE is fine. Down the Pluker nose. Down a briefcase briefcase i don't like that forest l go coast portable hole dang it play tap land go spire of industry patchy passes that's like not a good draw fight rigging take thunder's debut go bring leaf drum pumps the patchy haywire might do you tap eat my uh rigging briefcase play marsh go prototype there's still a shot here i guess with rex in hand Skrelv, that's fine. 
We will chump this automaton. Portable hole. Eat what? The briefcase? Nope, the token. All right, take it. Play briefcase. Go. Portable hole. All right, and we lose because of Skrell. Ironic. All right, I'm off. One and one. Let's get into the next island. Wishing well. See how this pans out. We have all the manas in the world. We should be able to ramp relatively fast. Into what? I don't know exactly. Briefcase, another ramp piece. All right, put pathway on green. Play Llanowar Elf. Go. Glass pool short. Passes. Overgrown tomb. Play the tomb. Untapped. Perietted. Elf. Go. Island. Passes. Swamp. Briefcase. Perietted. Mystic. Passiturn. Ironically, we can debut. Hardcast debut. Yeah, we have exactly eight. So tap out, opponent. Okay, taps out. So we cast with bargain. We will sack the token. Get Rex. We'll get Titan. Emrakul. Then we will destroy shield counter. Put a counter on the Titan. Pass. Hall. Passes. Scoops it up. Against blue, we bring in Thought Seize. Potentially Necromentia. But then again, it looks like he might have a... Abrupt Decay could be useful. What do we go down? Um, I think we go down Beseech. Uh, that's a huge blow if it gets countered. Probably a court briefcase. Probably, let's not try abrupt decay. Let's, we'll bring that in game three if we need it. I don't like that. Play the ley line and an island. Passes. Marsh. Elf. Go. Island. Passes. Marsh. Prodding Registrar. Go. Next turn, I think I'm going to rigging plus Thoughtseize. Controls additional card. Plays a cat. Vantress. Passes. I don't think I need the second Registrar. We will say no. Not on black. Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize Oracle. I guess taking Nyx, uh, Lotus. Fight rigging. Such a whiff. I guess Shakedown heavy. Put the counter on the elf. Cast Shakedown heavy. And attack. Draws additional card plays an island. Passes. Pitch the briefcase. Say no. Play the glade. Play Plukernos. Put the counter on the elf. Attack with everything. Plays a Fossa. Okay, that trades with the Reggie. Plays a Nykthos. Passes. Flickers the Oracle. I'm going to say yes. Put the pathway on black. Thoughtsies. Plays the Lotus. Corridor to untap the Lotus. Mm. Glasspool Mimic. Copy lore. Put the counter on Shakedown Heavy. Taps it down. Taps down the other dude. Draws two cards. Plays an island. Attacks out. Sure. Ancient of Treachery. Takes my Pelucre Nose. Flicks Ancient of Treachery. All right. I'm off. Go down the Courier's Briefcase. Maybe only two EE since most of the threats are blue. Or cost two. Maybe Thoughtseize just isn't... Is Thoughtseize worth it? I'm going to say not really. Just keep the EE. Not like that. Leads off of the Ley Line. Put Pathway on green. Play Mystic. Go. Island. Prototype. Passes. Tomb. Play that said Tomb. Play Heavy. Go. Castle. Passes. Glade. We go attacking. Okay, we draw a card. Elf. Elf. Carry added. Pass. Plays an island. Quarter mort uh, monitor. Okay, produces a colus. Untaps. Just plays the monitor and passes. Play T-Rex. Smash. Pass. Island. Fossa. Passes. Glade. Cast tem turn timber. I guess get a carry added. Smack with Brax and Heavy. Okay, still takes two poison, right? A forward Toxic? Sure. Pass. Nick those. Ancient Treachery. Tries to target my Rex, but can't. Passes. All right, takes my Heavy this time, I assume. Yep. Rotting Regisar. Play Plukernos. Fight, fight. Hmm. Yeah, I think I attack. Fight after combat. I just need to get a point across with this Rex. Go to combat attack. Blocks, blocks. Okay. So that means I just means I win, fight, and you lose to Toxic. Door two and one. Let's get into the wrap up. So what did we learn this week about after facing some sweet decks? Actually, Mono Blue looked pretty awesome overall. Um, super excited. Glad he was playing that list. It was pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, we ended up with the two one. I think the sec actually has a good chance. I think we would have won 3-0 if we actually didn't get land screwed in, in match two. And we would if we would have been playing on curve, we definitely would have pushed that to game three and could have easily taken that match. So overall, the only matchup I think you have to avoid with this deck is Control. Now we do technically have the Rexes to hard cast into Control, but Bargain, uh, Thunder's Debut, 
is not a very good option. Besiege the Mirror is not a very good card in that matchup. So that's kind of where you you get a huge hit. Um, Thoughtseize can help. Uh, so and so does Narcomentia. So I'm not sure how the, how exactly you would want to change your list up for control. But overall, I thought this deck was pretty awesome. Thunder's debut was pretty strong. If you can cast it, it's one of the best cards, I think, in the entire list. So it definitely was a sweet card to feature in this episode. Uh, I just wasn't sure how I would actually feature the card. But I think this actually works. The one thing I was wanting to eventually try would be some way of getting the worm and something that gives it haste. Xenagos doesn't work, right? Because it triggers on pre-combat, which already has passed because of fight rigging. So I'm not sure how you can make that work in a fight rigging, Thunder's debut, smash face for 15 and win. But if you have any suggestions for that at all, let me know down in the comment section. If you want to see me revisit this deck, let me know as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And until next time, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.